All right, today we're going to be talking about Unit 7, Lesson 3, and pages 209 to 211. We're talking about arrays. You've done arrays. Some of you have done arrays before, you told me. But now we're going to be talking about what they are. They're rows and columns. Um, just like our sample question, it says we have two rows of five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we have two rows of it. And this is what we call a row. And this is what we call the column. Now when we multiply, we say basically column times row equals whatever. So in this case, it's uh, five columns times two rows. What does that equal? And you can count them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five times two would equal ten. And even though the fives are simpler, we still want to be able to do that. And also in multiplication, I want to remind you one thing that we talked about um, earlier in class then, is what all these numbers mean in multiplication. And uh, if we go back to page 196, we know the 2 and the 5 are called factors, and the 10 is called the product. So it's no longer just the answer, but it's the product of 2 times 5, or the factors of 2 times 5. So that's just a kind of a quick review, because we do have to know what these words mean. I want to make sure we understand that again from class today. Um, but if we look at question number 1, it says, how many flowers? Well, first of all, we got to figure out how many are in each row, uh, in each row and how many columns we have. Well, it looks like we have one, two, three, four flowers. So we have one, two, three, we're just going to say those are flowers. And how many columns do we have? We have one, two, three, I'm sorry, uh, how many rows do we have? We have three. Again, these are the rows. And these are going to be up here or down, however you want to do it, columns. So we can say now, we want to know how many total flowers we have. Well, we have four here, four columns, times three rows. So our factors are uh, uh, four times three. And we can count them all out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So four times three would give us a product of twelve. So the factors of 4 times 3 is going to give us the product of 12. And then I want you to try the stamps question and number 3. Don't worry about number 4 on that page. If we go on to page 210, we're going to be doing some um, greater than or less than problems. And we want to look at those ones. We have a whole bunch of dots. One. Number five here. One, two, three, four. Then we add two columns to that. And want to know what it is, and this one's going to be, so what is this going to be versus one, two, three? So we have to figure out is it greater than, equal to, or less than our answer. And what well, we can do that as a ray, of course. Then we can say, well, there's two columns here times one, two, three, four here, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have two columns times three rows, or two, four, six. So we obviously know eight is bigger than six, so we're going to chomp eight. Eight is greater than six. And that's how you want to read it, that's how you want to say it, but that's how you do your array. Um, we're going to look at number, let's look at number 12 on that page, and the rest will be your responsibility. So number 12 on that page as well. And we have three columns, one, two, three, with one, two, three, four, five rows. And we're just going to fill in all the dots. You have to have them all filled in. 
wants to know what it is. Then we have four columns. And again, we have, looks like five going down, five rows. And fill them all in. And we're going to ask ourselves, we have, again, three up here, times one, two, three, four, five. We can do our fast five tricks is five, 10, 15. So three times five is going to give us a product of 15. And this one is four going across times the by five going down. Again, we can do our fast ones, five, 10, 15, 20. So uh, the factors four times five is going to give us a product of 20. So 15, is it greater than, equal to, or less than 20? Well, obviously, if we did a number line, 15 would be here, 20 would be here on a number line, and 20 is greater than. So 20 is going to chop down. And I always remember that because I always put little teeth in there, like my alligator, or shark, however you want to do it. But that's number 5 and number 12. The rest of them, I want you to try them. Um, do equal to or less than. And then in class, we're going to actually work on page 11 because that's some word problems. I want to go over a new strategy for the word problems. So we have a lot of activities to do in class. You have a lot of activities to do tonight. Please review everything so you understand what an array is and some easy multiplication. And we'll go from there. And you've been flipped tonight.